This is a local road near me in my Somerset. I drove my car through here yesterday and uh, somewhere in the middle of this flooded area my front number plate got torn off. So I've come back this morning hoping to see if I can find what's left of it, if anything remains. It was much deeper here yesterday though. So if nothing else, if it's any bits of it are left, I should see it. But it's probably in this area that it got uh, torn off because this is the deepest now. Very sensible driver going through quite slowly. <laughs> of course, if the number plate is flat on the ground under that water, I probably wouldn't see it anyway. I said you don't see any bits by the side of the road. I think this has been the wettest April I can ever remember, certainly since I lived in Watchet. See, I suppose there's the river, just the other side of the road. The river isn't quite so high as the road at the moment here. No, that muddy water is my number plates there, it's hidden from view. It's quite annoying because it's a special size number plate, I might not easily get one made, not locally. But there was no such warning yesterday, of course. Look at the river here, Goss, right to the top of the bridge. Gee. It's flooding onto the fields. This is going at speed. If my number plate was there, my vehicle was going through at that speed, I don't think they would have survived. Would have survived. <laughs> well, I was planning, I've got my Wellington boots, I was planning to walk through to see if I could see the number plate, but if I get halfway through and the car comes... Oh, there's a fire brigade coming now, let's get out of the way. Is it coming this far? Maybe stopping down, let's see. Sure, if it's coming to deal with this or so what? Huh. Well, I'm going to have a quick walk through and see. No, you can't see, can you? It's opaque the water. Can't see other number of plates here. to come back when it's all drained out. But the fact is the original screws are still left in the car so it must have, must have snapped into it at the very least. Probably been driven over hundreds of times since. Look, well, I think we can say that's the end of that number plate. decided it's going to be folly to go on. I know after we uh, visited where we were going yesterday, we went home 
a different way to this um, in the direction behind me but it was just as flooded up there this is about a mile further in the other direction behind where I was standing just now the river is quite busy and uh, in fact behind me is where we hit the second flooding on the road yesterday just up there with that car to so I'm curious to know what it's like up there this morning. Somebody there in, in, in green jackets might be this the police of the Fabergade are. Yeah, this wasn't as deep. This looks as if it's deeper today than yesterday. Whereas where I was earlier, it's not quite so deep. Are the police officers going to actually drive through it? Yeah. Cool. The car just pulled in behind me but thought better of it. And the policeman's advising someone there. <laughs> Hello. That police car just went through but um, it's a bit iffy. You had a problem? No, he went through all right with that police car. I didn't want to try but this brave Toyota might be having a go. <laughs> no, I'm not going through it. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> I've just been told I ought to come and look at it. Yes. That police car did just go through, so you might be all right. Yeah. Well, I got through this morning. Well, yeah. No, I thought they were decided they were brave enough. Sensible, really. I bet those houses there are a bit worried. In fact, there's a boat up there already on that field. <laughs> One of you experienced it before here. It must be in this um, wooden building here. What is it? This storage shed. Yeah, it's been there. And another car trying. Hmm. Behind me. <laughs> no, he's, he's not going to have a go either. Yeah, yesterday a friend at Wellington Station told me the water was up, right over the railway tracks there. So I thought I'd go up and have a look, but the policeman tells me that is now cleared. But we'll go and have a look anyway. Here, a little bit off the ideal location. Unless there is one up there which is full. Anyway, the policeman has left his sign. Oh, it does say road, road closed. Oh, this drain sounds quite busy. Oh, it's another police car. Pretty busy river. So far, it's not deep enough to worry that nice house there. Remember, let's head on up towards Wellington. See what we see there. Well, the policeman okay. very kindly just pulled up and showed me a number plate which I thought was mine. But no, over there, look. there is mine. There it is. 
Well, 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 I don't think I'd ever see that again. Must have got lost down in the flood. Here we are. Not looking very smart though now, but still, it's nice to know that I've actually got it back. Maybe repairable. Okay, so it must have been washed down later in the day. That must that river here on the road must have come all the way down to here. Amazing.